today we're going to do an electromagnetic calculation problem. We've got Sally Ann and Doc Brown here to help us out if we have any troubles. Here we go. So we're going to try to find the frequency of purple light with a wavelength of 410 nanometers. So the first thing you're going to need to do is write down your variables and your constants to figure out what you're trying to solve for. So the first thing is that we know what lambda is. Lambda is wavelength and it's 410 nanometers. We also want to solve for frequency which is nu and that is our question mark and that is going to have the units of hertz or per second is the same thing or you can write it as second minus one. All of those are identical to each other. You always have the speed of light constant which is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Some people do use 2.98 and that's fine also. You can also realize that you have the constant Planck's constant which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second. We also could try to solve for energy um, but that's not in this problem at this point. If we did it would have the unit of joules. Over here what I'm going to do is write down your equations that you can use to solve for wavelength, frequency, and speed of light and energy for any type of electromagnetic radiation moving at the speed of light. So we've got speed of light equals lambda times nu which is wavelength and frequency. You've got another one where energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency and the last one is putting those two equations together which is Planck's constant times the speed of light um, divided by wavelength or lambda. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at what I'm given and then look at my equations and decide which one's going to help me solve for, uh, in this case, frequency. And the answer is this one, but it's not written in a form that I can use directly, so I have to isolate for the variable that I'm trying to solve for. And in this case, it's the frequency. So I'm going to divide both sides by lambda, and I get a new equation that says lambda on the bottom and speed of light on the top is equal to frequency. So I'm ready to plug my numbers in, however I have one issue. If I put in the speed of light on the top, which is 3 to the eighth meters per second, on the bottom I need my unit down here to be in meters, and currently right now I have nanometers. So I have to convert from nanometers to meters. So to do that I have to use a metric conversion that if I were to draw a, an entire meter stick, and this was one meter, what you have to realize is that a nanometer is one billion parts of a meter. So what most people do is say that that's one times ten to the ninth um, nanometers and it equals one meter. So you have this conversion that we're going to need because we have to have meters in our formula. So I'm going to take my 410 nanometers and I'm going to convert it to the correct metric unit, which is a meter. And again, one meter is a billion nanometers. And so I have this then with the right type of scientific notation. And I can plug that into my calculator show that I'm, I did this correctly. I have it sort of memorized. So you're going to take and have 410 and you're going to divide it by 1 EE and then 9. And so again, if it's not in the right um, scientific notation, in this calculator you can hit second and then the 5, and then it puts it as 4.1 to the negative 7th. And that's good because I actually don't have a significant figure here. That 0 is a trailing 0. And so really there's only two significant figures. Whoever measured this, it's somewhere between 400 and 14 nanometers. This is the range. And it could be as small as 405 nanometers. So we're saying there's only two significant figures. So that's going to be fine to keep it that way, 4.1 times 10 to the minus 7th. Now, when I plug this into my calculator, I again have to use that exponential notation key correctly. You can type in the point 00, EE8. If you want to press, it'll see that it'll just get rid of the zeros. Divided by 4.1 EE negative 7. And so my calculator says this is the answer, so 7.3170, I'll just keep that, times 10 to the 14th, and then the answer is hertz, or again per second, and the reason why is meters will cancel, 
and we'll have just that hertz or per second left as the unit. But I don't have the proper number of significant figures. I can only keep two. That one has three, this one has two, and you can keep the least when you're multiplying and dividing. So this would be then the final answer with significant figures um, and the appropriate unit.